uh, team we saw in the second half completely different than the team we saw in the first half. What did you tell them in the locker room at halftime? I really didn't say something. I, you know, I kind of I kind of um, told them earlier in the first half. You know, uh, I pulled them all up, and you know, it was embarrassing. We couldn't stop them the first half. Uh, we turned over the ball again. Uh, it felt like guys were just going in the tank. You know, I got on I got on the players. I got on the coaches. Um, you got to expect better. You know. We can't we can't come out and have a start start slow and have a, a half like that. You know we're not that good enough on offense to, to get it back and get those points back that we need to win. All week you're preaching about pride, and for a team to go for the team to go in 35-0 at half and then to come back and put that kind of a performance together in the second half. What do you think that kind of says about the team and its pride? Well, some guys are playing with pride. You know, others others you can I can see film don't lie. People check out. Um, I'm proud of some guys. You know, Julian Jenner keeps going. Um, the, we ran the ball well with Paul Harris. The whole line moved the, moved the line in the run game. Uh, you know, Corey Rasmussen still tends to play, you know, hurt. Um, but we just got to make plays. We weren't very good on defense today. Um, Paul Harris, one of the guys you talked about, 179 yards today. A lot of second, uh, second effort plays. Can you talk a little bit about him and uh, why he was able to get the ball moving today? I think he was good. I think we concentrated on, on moving the ball, running the ball. You know, they weren't good at, at the, their run defense. So, we, you know, they're good at pass defense. So we just tried to run the ball. That was a game plan. We couldn't turn it over early. We had two turnovers that cost us, and, and we couldn't stop them on defense. Coach, you said some guys have are still in there. Some guys have checked out. So with only one game, two to go, are you looking at it as, as whether you're a senior or not? If you don't show up, you know, I'm going to make some changes next week. Yeah, I'll make changes, whatever it is, you know, uh, players, coaching staff, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of it. Um, you know, we're just going to go back to the drawing board uh, Monday, get ready for another week. It's senior week. Uh, we got to send these seniors out well. You know, we got Louisiana Monroe coming in. Uh, I know they're kind of dinged up, but, you know, they're going to fight. They're going to give us a good game, and we got to be prepared or else we'll get beat. Did Tyco look really backed up on that touchdown pass? Uh, you okay? He went right back in. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he got back up. He got back in, and, and he's still competing. He's still playing, and um, we're going to keep moving on with the them next week. I mean, is, you've, you've been around a lot of football players in your life. Where does he rank among the tough guys? You know, he's all right. He, he, he doesn't play very smart, but he's got to be better. You know, he's a tough kid. He takes some shots. He keeps up ticking, but, you know, he's got to be smarter. You know, we're in the red zone. You can't, turn, you can't turn over the ball and throw it away. We need points. A physical toughness, though, is... Yeah, he's, he's, he's taking some shots. You know, obviously he's taking some shots, but, uh, you know, physically he's tough and he gets a back up and he keeps going. Uh, you've mentioned Julian Jenner a number of times when it comes to guys playing with pride. When they have only one guaranteed game left, how much of a point of emphasis has it been to stress to the other players to get up for the guys like Julian who only have one guaranteed game? Uh, it's tough. It, um, Everybody's individual, you know, they, they got their own thoughts on their mind, what gets them motivated. But like I said last week, you're, before you know it, you're a freshman and you're a senior. And it'll blink and it'll be gone in a second. So, you know, hopefully we can take some pride and, and send these seniors off with a win next week. It's going to be tough, you know. So going with that onside kick, was that something that you planned coming out of the half, if you got that score right away, or was that just kind of spur-of-the-moment thing? You know, uh, Coach uh, Jake Cook is, does a great job on special teams, man. Uh, we got a great kicker, Regal Berto, man. Who does, he, can, he can do some unbelievable things. And, uh, you know, Coach Jake and Coach uh, Ty Papali, his assistant, they sit in the, the room all day and they plan these things out. And, uh, you know, we got to use them, you know. We, we have nothing to lose, so we're going to throw whatever we can. What changed for you guys defensively in the second half? It seemed... Uh, the first half, you guys were unable to stop them. They were eight for eight, I think, on third down. Uh, they scored on their first six touch or their first six drives. So, I mean, that changed in the second half, and you ended up holding them to only seven points. But uh, third down, we couldn't get off the field. Uh, I think when we scored offensively, I think it got the the motivation back. You know, got that fire in everybody's gut to to keep uh, to keep performing. Guys were were high fiving each other. You know, just a little bring a little juice to the sideline. You know, I think, every, and then the onside kick. So I think everything got got cranked up, and, and, and then we just took off from there. Coach, I know you want to send the seniors off well, but with one game left, it's also your final game as interim head coach. Is there a goal or a plan you yourself want to accomplish next week as the season wraps up? I definitely want to get a win. I want to win all the games. Uh, I don't show up to, to lose and go, you know, these last three games, and, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to win. Uh, I, definitely I need help because sometimes it feels like I'm on an island by myself, but, you know, I need help from the players, from the coaches, and, you know, we, we just got to do a better job.